Hey there, Mac users and Mac automators. This is Bakari Shivani again with another tutorial for those who want to automate on their Mac. I'm going to focus in on a menu bar utility. They will enable you to do dozens of, you know, kind of actions just by selecting some text. So you definitely want to stay tuned and check it out. All right, so the application that I'm going to focus in is one called Pop Clip, and it's, and it's uh, really popular and used by a lot of you know Mac power users. So if you are not familiar with it, you definitely uh, want to uh, learn about this application. Basically, just as the website says, it says Pop Clip appears when you select text with your mouse on your Mac. You can instantly copy and paste and access actions in search, spelling, dictionary, and, and, other, and other 100 types of actions as well. So let me kind of give you a, an example of that, right? I'm, just, I'm here in my notebooks, uh, notes uh, application here. And if I select this pop clip, for example, you see that the pop clip actions pop up. And these are the ones, some of the ones that I use. You can, you can add about 25 um, actions to your, your pop clip menu here. And so if I wanted to bold that, all I have to do is click bold and it does it right there, right? Or if I wanted to italicize it, I can do that. Or if I wanted to underline it, I can do that. Also, if I um, say I wanted to copy really quickly this right here, copy right here, and then say I, I kind of go down a little bit and uh, Notice that it pops right back up because it knows that I just copied something and so either I want to do a paste so I can paste it or sometime maybe if I'm pasting it in a particular uh, uh, online form or something like that or something and it, ha and it wants to do a quick return after I paste, it can do that. But uh, here we go. So we paste it right here. So you had a quick pop, uh, uh, a copy and paste uh, just really within seconds, right? Um, I can go here and select some more, see what else we get here. If this one here is one I use a lot too, is this will speak the text that you select. And I use this sometimes when I'm writing drafts to kind of like hear my writing, um, you know, just to kind of see how it sounds and to help me proofread it. So it's a great way to use that. Um, another one is you can quickly um, do a Google search right here. Uh, just you know, select the word or phrase that you want to Google search, and it will automatically uh, copy and paste that into a Google search. You can also do a Google um, "I'm feeling lucky" um, type of uh, thing here, and basically what that means is if I click this here, notice that uh, it will give, it should give, it goes, it goes directly to the the, the top site uh, of that search, and of course that's Pop Clip, and this is the uh, search right here for that. I mean, this is the uh, the um, website uh, for Pop Clip, and it's uh, put out by Pallet Moon, right? And you can download it for a free trial, and then pay it in the Mac Store for uh, nine nine dollars ninety nine cents. All right, so um, that's basically what you do in terms of that, and, and it has a lot more uh, actions here. That I have some in the back here uh, for putting brackets around text if I want. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is a really good one too. So for example, if I wanted to add pop clip to my text expander, so create a new text expander snippet, right? It brings it right up. And all I have to do is add in the, um, the, 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 the shortcut or abbreviation that I want to use. And I think I've already have uh, that set up for pop clip. So you can, I can do that. Um, there's just a lot of uh, actions that you can do now. Let me show you where you can find the actions the actually the actions are um, Up the the you can find pop clip up in the menu bar up here Right and you can turn it on and off So if you have situations sometimes when it's kind of getting away or bugging you you can turn it off um, And then you can have it start um, at the login here and you can have it to show in the menu bar I don't really have to go to the menu bar that much um, to, to, to use it so I keep it in the um, what do you call it? Uh, my butler, right behind butler here. I keep it in my butler uh, selections and uh, and just pull it up when I need it. And then you can go to um, how, you know, you can, you can also adjust the size of the kind of the pop-up in, in terms of its appearance. And then here you can um, add uh, more actions here. 
And again, I think you can only add up to 25 in there and you can click you can you can click on and off to enable which ones appear and if you want to uh, rearrange them you can go here click that button and just kind of push them up and down and do that right and then if you want to add more you click this button here and it will take you to a page of literally you know dozens of actions for all different types of um, you know extensions you know the, uh, for different applications and different um, you know, extension that are being created for it. And I believe someone on the internet, someone, someone, uh, I remember back several months ago that somebody created a way to create your own extensions as well. And maybe I'll look into that again and maybe do a, a, a video about that as well. But you can see right here that it has just dozens of, of extensions that you can download and put in there. And then you decide kind of what uh, is most useful uh, for you. So that's it there. Uh, if you have any questions about this, let me know. Um, if, you know, if you're using PopClip, you know, let me know which extensions that you use on your uh, particular Mac as well. All right, so that's it for to, to today's tutorial. Let me know if you uh, enjoyed this content, if you found, found it useful by giving me a thumbs up down below. And also, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe because it lets me know that you want more of this type of content. So thanks a lot. See you again next time.